Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Arthur, and I have my Jaguar S Type R over here that I had for about a year and a half, and unfortunately, it got into an accident, which wasn't my fault, but it caused it to total the car, and I just brought it back from the body shop yesterday. And I'm going to fix it soon. I'm going to need a few parts for it. <clears throat> the car used to be in a very nice shape before. It still is in a nice shape other than the damage. It's very clean. Components has 122,000 miles on it. It's a 05, so it has the Brembos. With some previous scratches. There was only some light scratches that the body shop marked. I'm a big fan of these cars and they're pretty hard to find now in good condition so I'm not gonna let this one go just like that I'm gonna fix it up so my damage was mainly on a fender over here it was damaged there's slight damage on the door where it touched the tire I hit a truck it made a u-turn illegally and I had no other way but to drive into him, but it, uh, insurance said it's his fault, which is good. There's a slight damage on the hood, it might need to be replaced or repaired, not sure yet. The headlight was fine, the bracket for the headlight got cracked, might need to get a new one of that. All these coolers and radiator and everything is okay, no damage there. This headlight is fine. The bumper got a little bit damaged. I have it here. But I think it's repairable. There's some scratches here. It's hard to find bumpers for this model. The grill is fine. The grill is the part that is difficult to find also. So I'm just going to have it repaired. This is the thing. Pretty banged up. I already found a parts car. Same color, in fact, my S Type R. So I'm going to go today and try to get some parts off of it to see what I, what's good I can get. Another thing, the alignment got a little bit messed up, so I'm guessing it has a bent control arm or a tie rod. I'm going to lift it up and we'll check it out together. So here is the bottom of the car. Rear suspension. These cars often have issues with the rear hub bearings. They go out, replace quite a few of them on different cars. This one is fine, no issues there. Rides nice and smooth. The on differential, it's pretty good. Exhaust, all panels are intact. It's the ZF6 speed transmission, it's nice and dry. See the rack and pinion right there. It's dry. Control arms. This bottom cover is nice and dry, no leaks anywhere. These are often known to crack. This uh, shields for the fender flares 
fender liners. I'm probably gonna put some new ones. Since this one I think is a little bit damaged on this side, I'm just gonna put two new ones. It's hard to tell what's exactly bent here on this side. Hard to tell what's exactly bent here on this side, but I have to remove the wheel and see, but I'm guessing it might be the actual knuckle. Because the control arms look pretty good. The entire end looks decent. So I'm not sure just by looking at it like this. It's gonna take a little time to bring it back to previous condition, but I'll get it done. I already got a replacement car for it, but I'm gonna keep this one too. I got a 2010 Jaguar XFR with 19,000 miles on it. In excellent condition. That's it. Just gonna lower it and look under the hood. Okay, here's under the hood. Supercharged V8, 390 horsepower, 399 torque, pulls very nicely with a very satisfying whine. I will post some new updates once I have some new parts for it and I'll make some new videos we'll see how it goes thank you guys for watching please subscribe and like for more videos thank you